Okay, because the last time this horse was ridden, she bucked. Um, frightened the owner quite a little bit because the owner's not been too well herself. Uh, there's certain pre-checks I've been doing before our attempt to ride. Um, one is to have total control of the hindquarters. I did notice that was quite blocked down the front quarters and they seem there, lovely. Um, she'll respect my space a little bit. I've obviously done some desensitizing and stuff of her and played around. We're doing a one rain stop from the from the ground. Seems very calm now actually. So yeah, I don't just get on them. I've also led her out from my saddle horse quite a few miles with all the tack on both on the left and the right hand side. That's probably one of the most beneficial things you can do with a horse that's got a bit scared and bucked a little bit. So I've done that quite a few miles. I've been able to sort of ride her without riding her. So from my saddle horse, been leaning all over her, um, making sure she's totally fine with my weight on her and, and all of that. Obviously she's had all her back checked and things like that. It's nothing to do with that. So yeah, we're not far off riding her now. I'm gonna side her up here now and show what I do. Um, what I do when when I side up with the horse's buck just to make sure it's taking the full weight. Um, I've done a little bit of siding up with her. She's not uh, She's not really into me there. I won't be too bashful about it. I don't want to sneak around her. That's where I want her there. So I might sort of sit on her and hold this fence and bump around a little bit. She can't really bug me off there if I'm on the fence. Put all my weight on her, play around with the other side, steer up, it's all fine. But I've done all that from my saddle horse anyway. So yeah, I think she's ready to ride now. So we'll, we'll give it a go in a little while. <laughs> 